Hello everyone, so here's another trend that I'm late to. There is this hashtag going around on Instagram and other social medias called Tune Me, where you take a picture of yourself and then you draw one half or one part of the photo in your style. I really love it, I think the drawings I've seen are so cool. Seeing all the different styles mixed with the realism in the photo, it is so creative and inspiring. So of course I had to try this out myself. I took a not so super obnoxious photo of myself and I drew over half of it. I'm using Procreate on my iPad Pro if someone's wondering. I actually added some other elements to it too, like some mushrooms in my hair. And instead of having my hand poking around in the corner of the image, like on the photo, I added my sweetest cat Sally instead. I gave her free eyes, of course, because she is my all seeing healing kitty. So yeah, here it is. I actually recently posted a video where I made a self-portrait, so I figured you might be a little tired of seeing my goofy face now, so let's move on to the actual real deal of this video. Let's tune some of you guys. First up is Mello, hello, and I hope I said that right, and their doggo Tanky, such a cute picture. So I created my own little hashtag on Instagram, TuneMeCatValk, where you could post pictures of yourself and or your pets, and I would pick a few of them to tune, so to speak. There were so many good and cute photos to choose from that I wanted to draw, but I can't have them all in this video, unfortunately, but I might draw some more on my spare time if I get any spare time and post them on Instagram because I had so much fun with these I really enjoyed doing this challenge so in the beginning I start with tracing the photo mainly because I do actually want the drawn side to be somewhat resemblant to the person I'm drawing but in my style of course I don't really have one specific style that I stick to, it kind of changes a little depending on what art medium I'm working with, and this is kind of my semi-realistic digital style, so when it comes to proportions and stuff like that, it is actually pretty close to the photo, and I will talk more about the art style in a little bit. Now let's talk about this drawing. I made a doggo with a little smile, because that is how I like to draw my dog goes happy and I chose not to have the text written on the shirt since it is backwards anyway and I figure I could have done something a little more fun and creative with the shirt than just leaving it white. I did make a simple leaf pattern on it later though but yeah I couldn't spend too much time on each of these drawings unfortunately but I had so much fun drawing the dog. He is such a cutie. No offense to you Meloello. I just love drawing animals. But yeah, here it is. Thank you, Mello, Ello, and Tanky for letting me draw you too. I hope you like it. The next up is Millicent, and I was drawn to this because it is in grayscale, so I wanted to try that. And I also think her style with the piercings and the hair is pretty cool, and I just wanted to draw that. And I have to say, I do love the coloring, but the part when making the sketch and then refining the sketch, making the line art, must be my favorite. Also, I kind of like it without the colors when it is only only the line art. I really like the contrast between the simple lines and the photo. So I was talking about my art style before. I don't really have a specific style when drawing people. Sometimes it is more cartoony and sometimes it's more realistic. It is just what I prefer doing at the moment and what art medium I'm using. As I said before, my digital style can be very different from when I'm using markers or watercolors for example. And I was a bit unsure from time to time if I was actually drawing in my style or if I was just tracing and drawing over the photo because my style can be very adaptable. And I also think the word trace has become very negative in general, even if I personally don't always think so. I think tracing can be very helpful and handy in some cases. 
I did just trace the first rough sketch and then I redrew the sketch trying to add my own touch to it. I do have a base style that I do believe shines through in most of my art, like the way I draw the eyes for example with a little eyeliner wing poking out. It isn't really eyeliner but anyway. And then the more angular lines and shapes and the way I draw the line art. I do think the line art in this case gives the art a more cartoony style which I really like. Anyway, this is how I did this challenge and I had a lot of fun with it and I think that is what matters. But yeah, it was a lot of fun drawing you, Millicent. Thank you for letting me do so. Next is, and let's see if I can get this right, Basset Hound Egon, also Mama. This is such a precious photo, this adorable long-eared Basset doggo eating a watermelon. And I love all the wrinkles in the face, so of course I had to draw this. And as I mentioned before, I just love drawing animals, and even if I am mainly a cat person, I love drawing dogs and wolves and foxes. It is something with the noses and the ears, I suppose. And speaking of which, my art business is soon up and running, and I will finally be able to take commissions again, and I am really, really hoping to get some pet portrait commissions, wink wink, not only because, let's be real, I need the money, but I just love drawing pet portraits. It is something special with drawing and kind of immortalizing someone's beloved friend. Anywho, I thought this was really good practice too, to make some more rendered digital pieces. I mainly do sketching on the iPad, so it was fun to actually play around with some colors and shading and stuff like that. And I tried to keep this more sketchy style and keep the same kind of look with a colored line art throughout all of these illustrations. And I absolutely love how this turned out. I think I could have pushed myself to do something even more cartoony or stylized, but as we have I've already established this is my style so this is how I draw. I don't even know why I'm still going on about this. I don't think you even care. It is just me being self-critical so I'm sorry about that. But thank you so much Basset Hound Egon also Mama for letting me draw your cute doggo. It was so much fun. Then we have a photo of Artsy Rena, and what caught my attention with this one is her lovely blue or teal hair. It is really pretty. Also, as you may have seen in all of these drawings, is that I start with a rough sketch in purple, and then I turn that purple sketch gray using a clipping mask layer, so that I can make the line art in the same bright purple over the now gray sketch. Then when I'm done, I change the color of the line art the same way I did with the sketch. In this case, I change it to a more desaturated, darker purple. And I was thinking about why I prefer doing the line art in this brighter color when I am just changing it afterwards anyway. But I think it is because the purple makes it feel like I am still sketching, which makes me feel more relaxed and the line art turns out more alive and less stiff because I am not trying to make it perfect. So that is a little tip for you. If you are struggling with the line art, try to use another color. It doesn't have to be purple, obviously. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work that well in traditional art, but in digital art you can kind of do whatever you want, which I love. As I've said way too many times now, I super enjoyed doing this challenge. I wish I'd made the drawings a little more fantasy themed like I did with my portrait, but I wanted to draw more than just two in this video, so I had to cut down the time I spent on each of them. So yeah, Art Serena, I hope you like this drawing of half of you. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that little bell to get notified every time I post new art and videos. Thank you so much for watching and thank you guys that I drew for letting me draw half of you. I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye! Thank you.